Hi, my name is Tamara, and you are watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Thanks for watching again today. As you know, if you've seen some of my other videos, I am not a professional, I am just a girl who has figured out that there are a lot of things around the house and in the yard and on my cars that I can do myself so that I don't have to pay someone else a big bundle of money to do it. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to change the air filter in a truck. So, I have my good old 2004 F-150 and I'm gonna change the air filter in it today. And of course, the first thing that we have to do is get the hood up. So as with most vehicles, I would say 99.9% .9 of them, you're going to have your hood latch right down here on the driver's side, um, somewhere over in the direction of the door. This is the emergency brake release on this vehicle. And uh, here's the hood release. So you just pull it forward and you heard the hood just released. So I'm going to go ahead and find the latch on the hood, which is right in the middle, exactly where the crack in the wind guard is. And I'm going to push it over to the left, which is going to allow me to lift the hood. So if you're looking under the hood for the first time ever of your vehicle, you're probably going to wonder where in the world the air filter is. Well, first of all, you can read the owner's manual and find it, but that's no fun. So um, generally the air filter is gonna have a direct line, a direct connection to the engine. And, and that, that is how it is on this truck. The actual air filter housing is right here. And you can see it runs back to the engine and it keeps the engine free of dirt and debris. Now, um, this particular one has a clip on it um, without making you too sick, I'm going to lift the camera off the tripod and take you over so you can see the clip. See this right in here. And all that you do is just release that clip and it loosens the uh, thing around the housing. I'm going to put you back on the tripod so I can actually take the housing apart. And uh, all you do I'm not taking it apart, but anyways, you know, you take and you pull back. This hose right here. This is always exciting to do, actually. And, um, it is, like I said, it's always going to be exciting. I am also doing this from a very awkward angle. I'm gonna have to get it a different angle. Sorry, you guys. It's always awkward when trying to um, make a video and do this at the same time. Uh, so you can see the air filter here. And actually what I'm wanting to do, it was kind of stuck in that part. So I'm wanting to move this to the side and I'm able to pull the air filter right out. Whew. As you can see, I have a Canin filter, so it is one of the reusable cleaning um, filters that you can clean up and instead of throwing it away, um, I actually have a video on uh, cleaning reusable filters. This is exactly like the one that I take out of the car and clean. And as you can see, it is actually not very dirty. So the reason that I got this for the truck was because every time I'd go in for an oil change, they would check my air filter and they'd always tell me it needed to be changed. And I kind of got tired of paying for an air filter every single oil change. And uh, I would indeed actually check it myself and it wouldn't be dirty. Um, so whatever that says. Anyway, now I have this one and uh, I just keep it clean myself. So as you can see, it doesn't need to be cleaned this time. So I'm just gonna put it back in and I'm gonna move this big old thing to the side and it fits very snugly back into this other piece. I'm just going to spank it back in there. So this would have been the point where if you actually were going to change yours or clean it, of course, you would be putting in a clean or changed filter. So then I'm going to squeeze these two back pieces back together. I'm going to come over here. And you want to make sure that you get this uh, 
whatever this is called, this clamp, you want to make sure that you get these clamped back together properly because if you don't, there will be a little air leak in here where dirt can potentially get in and get sucked into your engine. So just whenever you do it, make sure that you feel all the way around as you're reclipping this and make sure that it is just everything is seated. That's something else that I found whenever other people did this they tended to not seat it correctly and so I would wind up with an air leak and you know while it won't kill your engine immediately it'll just shorten the life of it so not cool anyway mine is straight everything is tucked in and that's all that there was to checking and or changing an air filter at least in this truck so how easy was that it took less than five minutes and you were able to do your own air filter. And I know that that was an F-150, but most vehicles' air filters are not going to be very hard to get to. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself the first time, then watch the guy at the oil change place who does your air filter so that you can find out where it is and exactly what to do. So I hope that this helped you, and I hope that you're feeling comfortable looking around under the hood of your car and maybe doing a couple of things just to help keep it running properly. And just thank you for joining me again today. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps encourage me to make more videos. And um, thanks for watching. So I'll see you again next time.